Tell me it's not the same guy. I can't take my morning like this. It doesn't stop at two. Is she a local girl? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna get some coffee. Call the wife, cancel our trip. People are sick of pipeline protest stories, Cor. They're sick of protests altogether. This is a freeway not a pipeline. In the current economy, there are two kinds of stories that sell. I call them savior and doomsday. People want to know that there's light at the end of the tunnel, or they want to hear how things are going to get much worse. Bad news just sells more papers. Social causes take a back seat when people are losing their homes. I know your theories, but I'm not talking front page. This is still news, probably the only news ever in Black Falls. You just want to claim this trip as a business expense. This isn't a vacation. I'm going to a funeral. I just thought I could do something useful while I'm there. OK. I will pay for your mileage. But if you want to stay at the Four Seasons, you can do that on your own dime. I'm sure I'll find a nice motel that'll suit my needs. Cor. Hey, I'm sorry about your father. Yeah. On behalf of myself, Mayor Tomlin, the rest of City Council, and the town of Black Falls, we would like to present Chief Robertson with this award for his 25 years of service to our police department. And we hope he has many more happy years to come. Thank you. It's been a pleasure servicing this community. I can only hope that the time between now and when I retire doesn't pass too quickly.
Good afternoon. If you say so. Can I see your license? <laughs> I heard you were coming back into town. What do you mean? Look, just watch out, okay? We have enough trouble around here as it is. Why the hell did you pull me over? And that black falls. That's why I left you. Tribal police have just removed the lifeless body of an as of yet unidentified female victim. The police must release an autopsy before they will talk about the incident, but an eyewitness who wishes to remain anonymous claims the oh. body was tortured and mutilated by what do I care? assailants. He didn't own anything I want. Give me a chance to settle in. I'll be over in a bit. An early report suggests that the sexual acts may have been performed on the victim. The sex crimes unit is investigating. I'm Kate King, here with Channel 7 News, reporting live in your community and on your streets. This isn't my home. I told you you'd never make black belt. Black belt? I never even got my yellow belt. Of course not, you're not a fighter. All the other kids are bigger than me. But you're still an excuse maker, I see. Still in a wheelchair, I see. <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Uncle Peter. I'm surprised you came. Couldn't resist joining the looters. I'm not taking anything of your dad's. Just taking back all the stuff you borrowed from me over the years. Now help yourself to anything. It's all up for grabs, first come, first served. You had nothing I need. It all smells like smoke anyways. You got any plans for supper? 21% unemployment. What is this, Russia in World War II? Now we've got a plan that could put everyone back to work, and the reserve wants to kibosh it. And there's a big meeting coming up. Big wigs from the state are coming to meet with the town to discuss it. Yeah. What, are you complaining about the unemployment again? 
I haven't worked in 20 years. Well, there's not a lot of work in construction for a guy who can't walk. Mm -hmm. But you better believe I'm going to be at that meeting speaking my mind. <laughs> you know, you'd do good to go down there and talk to some people for that story no. of yours. Don't tell him how to do his job, honey. He knows how to do his job. There's worse things in life than a recession. I mean, how about what's happening with those poor dead girls? Dead girls? Two of them murdered since Monday. On the reserve. Ugh. Last time we had a murder around here, oh, that was five years ago. Now we've had two in one week. It was gruesome. Their hearts were cut out. Cor, would you like to carve? Thank God neither girl was from around here. What difference does it make where they're from? Well, if they're not from around here, neither is the killer. It comes with the territory. There's no work and no money. Crime goes up. Happens every time. But things will turn around. They always do. You want some seeds? I got roses, chrysanthemums, all sorts. No thanks. We're real proud of you, you know. A lot of the family may not like you because of how you run off. That's just jealousy. But I always knew that you'd break away and do great things. Great things. Sure. They put this road through, it'll bring business back to the town. The construction alone will put a whole lot of guys back to work. I've been on unemployment for a year. I ain't lazy. There's just no jobs. Natives say it'll ruin their precious land. Every left-wing tree hugger in the country is taking their side. Bunch of fucking bullshit. Probably can't put that in your newspaper, can you? My editor will make the call. We just don't want them rushing in here, ripping up trees, and destroying the land without considering the consequences. All right. Thanks for your time. Thanks. The first day when we got here, when the police were out in full force, thinking we'd riot. This is a peaceful protest. We're the good guys in all this. I don't know what kind of economic trouble they're talking about over there in Black Falls. They've been richer than us for decades, and we still manage. There's more to life than money. Who gives a fuck about a freeway? Who wants to come here anyways? This place is terrible. This freeway bullshit is just a distraction so that nobody will pay attention to what's really going down. Right. Thank you for your time. I'll leave you to whatever you're doing. You're a sucker working for a living. At least I have a job. Not for long. Doomsday clock's ticking. Cataclysm will be here before spring. <laughs> Freeze. You're under arrest. Linda. Wow. You're a... Police officer? Well, if you'd stayed in touch, you would have known. Yeah, uh... I've been busy. For 12 years? Well... I know the score. Didn't mean to put you on the spot. So, look at you. We always talked about becoming a cop. I'm surprised you're not working on the reserve for your brother. I made that mistake when I left the academy. It lasted about four months before I couldn't take him anymore and asked for a transfer. I'd steer clear of him if I were you. He's not really a forgive and forget kind of guy. Yeah, I was on the reserve all of two minutes before I got pulled over for no reason. That's Clint. Probably got windier coming and wanted to flex some muscle. Maybe we can go for coffee or something before I head back to Boise? Yeah. Maybe. See you around. Melissa Atkins, visiting from Australia. Australia? Yeah, here on a work visa. She's with the uh, Green Earth Group. 
The DNA from the semen doesn't match the last one. It's possible it's from a different guy. All that shows is that she had sex recently. It's the same guy. You seem pretty sure. Yeah. Do you think this was random? Probably just spotted them somewhere. Wrong place, wrong time. These things tend not to make a whole lot of sense. So what do you do now? Now? I'm going to finish my lunch. But as soon as I'm done, we're going to go hunt this bastard down. Holy shit. Dandridge. Oh, hey. Kevin Armstead. It's been a while. Are you living back here now? No, I'm still up in Boise, just here for funeral. You want to go get a beer? We can catch up. I haven't, I haven't seen you since graduation. Maybe another time? Sounds good. Give me your phone. I'll give you my number. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Give me a call. We'll hit it up. Yes, it's a pleasure seeing you, sir. Yeah, all right. Forks. Set of three. Who buys three forks? I decided to take you up on your coffee or something offer. How did you find me? Extensive detective work. Right. If you're not going to invite me in, I'll invite myself in. I'm uh, working on a story. hurt again. Cormac, I'm a big girl. I know what I'm doing, and I know what I want. I just came in here tonight because the sign was buzzing bright. I said open till three. It's been a while since we've done that. You mean with each other or in general? <laughs> Us. We better keep this quiet. I remember Clint throwing around the phrase, I'm going to cut Cormac's balls off if I ever see him again. Well, that's a tad extreme. <sighs> Hardly, compared to what they're seeing on the res. The two women? Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Gruesome. Let's think of nicer things. I need the TV on to sleep. Still afraid of the dark, are you? I'm not afraid of the dark. I, I just need the company. You have a woman in your bed, and you need the TV for company? The TV's always there when I need it. On animals is expected to become the law. Good night, Cor. Animal rights activists have been pushing for the bill for nine years and have taken part in mass demonstrations throughout the nation. It's expected the bill will outline just what animals will be allowed to be.
looks like invasion of the sketchy people out there. A lot of meth around here. It's gotten worse the last couple years. I don't know what's happening in this place, but I don't like it. Well, a few more days and I'll be gone forever. Maybe you could take me with you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. It's so easy to make you squirm. Mm. Richard is gone, we're still remembering the good times. And if we try to think about it, there are lots of them. I know that my big brother Richard is in a good place now and watching over all of us, and especially his beloved son Cormac. We will remember Richard for everything he was. Mr. Dandridge. I've uh, examined your father's will and reviewed his estate and all of his holdings, and I'm afraid that um, this is all he has left you. What's KTP Limited? It's a company your father had shares in. They deal in flowers, particularly exotic plants. No new car in my future, I guess. What do you mean he won't speak to me? The mayor feels like he's dealt with enough members of the press on this situation. He just wants the deal to go through. You know, people like you just fan the flames of what's already an intense situation. Can I put that in my story? No, you may not. Thank you for your time. He wouldn't talk to you either? Pardon? You're a reporter, aren't you? I always spot one of our own. Kate King, Channel 7 News. Cormac Dandridge. Cormac, huh? I love it. I hate it. That's why I go by Core. Well, Core. Are you local? I haven't seen you around. Hmm. I grew up here, but I work in Boise. Guess we're both out of towners. Mm. From Minneapolis. Been here a year. I'm just down for a funeral, but uh, doing a story on this whole highway protest thing along here. I think there might be a bigger story right now. Do you want to grab lunch? I'm buying. Tomlinson was great. For the first like six months I was here. And then something changed. He got meaner. Didn't even speak when they gave the police chief an award. Maybe he's got something to hide. It's not just the mayor. Maybe I see it more because I'm an outsider. There is a vibe in Black Falls that wasn't around when I got here. Is this some kind of conspiracy theory? Because I didn't think you were that kind of reporter. Okay. Let's look at it along the lines of this double murder business. Look at all those people. Look at this whole town. They all look pretty normal, yeah? One of those people is a killer. One of those people brutally murdered two women. It could be anybody. There are thousands of unsolved murders in this country every year. You could walk by hundreds of people every day who have a dark secret. You never know what happens behind closed doors. <laughs> Come on. You're freaking me out. I just don't feel safe in Black Falls anymore. <laughs> Your timing is amazing. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. I 
got one. Mother of God. Not again. Goddamn drugs. I don't know, Chief. We've seen this before. Yeah, just a bunch of kids getting carried away. Remember back in the 90s? All that hoopla over that Manson guy? I don't know. With all the murders? Step outside, boy. I don't want any word of the satanic shit getting out. Three quarters of this town still goes to church on Sundays. The last thing we need is to start a panic. Keep it quiet. You understand me? I don't know what we can do about it, Chief. There's such a thing as freedom of religion. You understand me? Yeah. I got it, Chief. Good. for me too? No. What are you doing out here? Nothing. Then why did your friend run? You got drugs on you? No. Are you lying to me? Okay. You're under arrest. Please don't. in the car. Hey. Where are Watch you going? It. Inside. Oh, he looks free. Watch yourself. Douche. Cor! Yeah. There he is. Hey, hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. How you doing? Oh, not bad. Except those assholes at the front tried to pick a fight with me. Yeah. What? Those fuckers. They're probably on meth. So don't worry about it. This shit happens. My truck's been broken into twice. And some fuckers keep vandalizing my shop, spray painting shit, the uh, pentagrams and stuff. I don't know. Bunch of punks. But you own your own shop, though. No, no, I'm still at all work. Holy shit, you're still there? What's that been? 12 years, buddy. Survived three rounds of layoffs. Seniority, good work ethic. Can't get rid of me. How about you? What's the uh, situation like in the city? Much better? You know, the newspaper industry is practically rigor mortis. That's rough, man. But well, hopefully they'll start working on that freeway soon. Bring some business back to this town. You know? Tourist and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what can I get for you? Uh, I'll have, uh, one of those. You got it. 
Joy, you married? Girlfriend? I did, but we broke up. Oh, shit. What about you? You remember Tina Selinger? You married Tina Selinger? Yeah. Holy shit. I'm impressed. Well, what can I say? I mean, she's put on a lot of weight since high school, so that kind of sucks. When I tell people that I married her, I mean, th that reaction, that's priceless. Don't forget what I told you. Aren't you forgetting something? Get out. Have a good night. Robinson. Clint. Good to hear from you, buddy. What do you need? Hey, you want another one? Yeah. He does, he does. I'm buying. <laughs> you have lost your edge, Dandridge. I haven't played pool since the last time I saw you. Well, that is a horrible mistake, because I stay in practice. You want another game? Chance to redeem yourself? I can't say no to that. Yeah. Rack them up. drinking? Three beers over two hours. I'm not drunk. Turn off your car, put the keys on the dash, and step out of the vehicle. Turn around. Hands on your head. Deputy. This is bullshit and you know it. Maybe. But well, one of us is in a position to be calling the shots, and one of us isn't. Hey! Get the hell out of here! Friends of yours? Shut up! Come on! I appreciate it. You want to talk to him? Nah, I'm just let him stew in a cell overnight. I'll come back in the morning. Don't get me in shit over this. Who's he gonna run to? <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pretty boy. Rise and shine. Somebody wants to talk to you. Thanks, Maggie. Give us a minute. Sit down. What are you doing here? Isn't your jurisdiction on the reserve? Me and the sheriff here are good buddies. We do each other favors. Good to know crooked cops aren't just confined to the city. When are you leaving? As soon as you take the cuffs off. <laughs> Funny guy. When are you leaving Black Falls? As soon as the press conference is over. Unless I have to deal with this DUI bullshit. You're not being charged. I 
I hate you, Dandridge, for what you did to my sister. I didn't do anything to your sister. I know you two were together the other night. What her and I do is none of your business. But it was my business back then. Way back then. You know what you did to that poor girl? You got her pregnant, and then you ran off. What kind of man runs off on a pregnant woman? I had my reasons. I had to get the fuck out of Black Falls. And I asked her to leave with me. But she didn't want to. She, she didn't want to keep the baby either. And I didn't want the responsibility. So we made a choice to, uh, you know, terminate it. And I just disappeared. She agreed to all of that before I left. She was head over heels in love with you. She would have agreed to anything you said. But inside, she was so devastated that she tried to kill herself. Yeah, I heard about that. And yet you didn't even call her. People make mistakes when they're young. You, of all people, should know that. Are you threatening me, Dandridge? Not at all. I told you I wouldn't tell anyone about what you did. And I kept my promises because I'm honest. Look, I'm sorry about what happened with Linda. But shit started happening with my dad and I had to leave. Get out of Black Falls and don't come back ever. You're the only thing keeping me here. Clint, what the hell are you doing? We're just talking. Let him go, Clint. That woman from the news is here looking for him. We don't want trouble. Called in the cavalry, did you? How the fuck's that possible? You took my phone. Just get the fuck out of here. I never want to see you again. What are you doing here? Heard they had you locked up. I figured I could uh, help. So I'm here for your personal effects. You really with you? Yeah, he's with me. You should find better friends. Don't worry. I got my eye on him. Come on, let's go get your car. You know that asshole. Chief Dawes? Yeah, I know him. Yeah, he interviewed him for a bunch of stories. I think he likes me because I treat him and his people with respect, and not everybody does. He's intense. He's a good cop. He's not as good as everyone thinks. Trust me. Morning, Dave. You okay? I'm fine. Just need to get some coffee in me. Hurry up! Why? What's going on? Get your car. Follow me. with the camera. What's going on? We found another body. Stay back. I'm with the news. I know who you are. But this is a crime scene. Stay back by the road. Now. I see you have a hard time taking a hint, Dandridge. Got a little sidetracked. Do you care to make a statement? Not until I know what's going on. Any word on whether this victim's from out of town, too? We have no ID on him yet. Him? The victim's a male. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's male. 
Now let me do my work. I'll let you know if we find anything. Make sure he's not with you. Another one? We just found out the victim's a male. We gotta get that to Master before anyone else does. Oh, do you have a conference on the freeway to go to? You're not getting all this to yourself. Serial killer in a small town? This is front page news. Besides, if I drive fast, I can cover both stories. Every cop in town is gunning for you, Cor. I wouldn't suggest speeding. Ride with me. I'll get you there on time. Maybe I'll get your car home safe. Hey guys, check it out. What are we looking at? Look at the ground around the body. It's a pentagram. Broadcasting live outside City Hall, where protesters from both sides of Moose Valley and Black Falls have gathered to await the mayor's final decision on what the locals have dubbed the Freedom Freeway. How's it going? Hey, I'm good, you? I'm good. You hear about that new body? Yeah, definitely cast a shadow over this nonsense. There's the governor. You think they're going to make their decision today? Doubt it. They make a decision. Either way, it's likely to start a riot. Gotta go. Throw him in jail. Lock them all up. Well, I'm glad you can make it down. Can you believe it? They're not letting the public. Who do they think pays their salaries? <laughs> you let me know everything they say in there. Understand, for Every word, Uncle Peter. Yeah. Don't let them get you. I'm gonna wait right here. They're not getting rid of me. So, in the interest of all parties involved, uh, we've decided to hold off on making a decision until further research can be done on the impact the project will have on the environment and the local economy. Is the mayor going to say anything? The mayor doesn't wish to make a statement at this point. I have a question. With the discovery of a third murder victim on the reserve, shouldn't the city be concerned about the violence in town instead of bickering over a freeway? Those murders have nothing to do with Black Falls. That only happens on the reserve. The police say the bodies were dumped where they were found. Are you saying it's impossible that they were murdered in Black Falls and then dumped on the reserve? I'm saying it's inappropriate to speculate at this time without knowing the facts. But implying the killers are from Black Falls is ludicrous. Now, we can talk about this at a later time. It's not the reason we're here. Do you smell that distinct cover-up smell, too? Well, anyone could miss it. I think we should corner the mayor's aide. Maybe he'll slip up and say something. I tried it already. Everyone's tight-lipped. Maybe we can... Cool. Would you like to go to dinner with me tonight? Three brutal murders in the span of a week. Mutilated. Sexual torture. Hearts removed. Not to be callous, but there have been four murders here since you left. And, and let's not forget uh, over a thousand across the country. And have the police even made a connection between these murders? Not yet. But how can they not be? I mean, they're way too similar. In a small town that sees one murder every five or ten years? It's just not normal. Well, you have a point there. But Cor, I gotta be careful announcing that there's some serial killer on the loose without the authorities even confirming it. I mean, do they have anyone they're interested in? Do they have a, a, a guy that they're looking at, or? I'm not so sure it's a guy. A female killer? Well, that's interesting. No. The first two victims were female. The third, male. I'm starting to think that there's a group involved. There's something going on here, and it's freaking me out. I'm not the only one who feels it. Well, what do you mean? There's sort of a, a satanic angle. And I need an extension to figure out what's going on. Satanic angle, oh god. 
Okay, fine. See what you can dig up. But I don't want you spending too much time on this. You know, I need you back here on Monday, Core. And it better be concrete. Because I don't want to go spreading crazy rumors and then have to print a retraction. All right. Thanks. You okay, Cormac? No, I'm not okay. I mean, I have these sketchy people looking at me in the streets. And I come back to my hotel room and there's a pentagram painted on my window. Well, that's probably a group of teenagers with spray cans screwing around. No, I've been doing this a long time. I just know. Okay, well, just be safe. Don't let Black Falls get to you. Oh, hey, great. I'm gonna go for a coffee. You're gonna take care of this? Yep. Talk to you. Hey, get back here. Fuck. What the fuck? Where did he go? What the fuck? You want to stare at me too, huh? What the fuck is wrong with this town? This is Cor McDandridge. He goes by Cor. Cor, this is Annika. Beautiful singing. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Cor. So do you guys work together? Or? Uh, Andrew's still out. One of those things. Mm. Well, he's very cute. Don't hurt him. No promises. Mm. Hey, Annika, our food's ready. Shoot, I gotta go. Thanks again. See you guys later. Oh. Leaving Thomas, huh? It's quite the name drop. Yeah, I have some great friends. But you said you see the creepy people too. That is such a weight off my shoulders. I thought I was crazy. Who are they? Maybe they're on drugs. If you see them again, you should call the cops. I don't exactly trust the police around here. Did you notice today that Chief Robertson at the press conference, he said the killers weren't from Black Falls. Killers with an S, plural. Do you think the police know something that we don't? Because Chief Dawes is in charge of the investigation. But he talks about the guy like it's a single killer. And here, hmm. look at this. Interesting. The murders there are similar to the ones here. Ritualistic, raped, tortured, organs removed. And if it can happen there, it can happen anywhere. I think you and I need to blow this story up. Let me get this straight. You're saying you want both of us to officially go on record, stating there's a satanic cult in Black Falls and that they're in charge of the murders. I'm glad we're on the same page. But we need proof. I have a contact I think we can consult. She's not traditional, but I do think that she knows a lot about this kind of thing. Cheers. Enough business for one night. Looking for them? Them? Sounds like a horror movie. 
Everything around here sounds like a horror movie these days. So, what are your plans for the rest of the night? Nobody in their right mind moves here from Minneapolis. I worked for KBC in Minneapolis. And then I got too involved in a story and they fired me. Too involved in a story? It's a lot of story. You got somewhere to be? I was doing a story on a congressman who's trying to pass his controversial health bill and I went to his house to interview him. His kid was there. He was like four years old. He had a bruise on his back. I noticed when he was playing. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but I went back for a follow-up interview and the kid had a black eye and a bruise on his cheek. So I reported it to Child Welfare. And in the end, they decided there was no abuse. But the congressman found out it was me who reported it and uh, sued the station. And then they fired me. And after that, the only place that I could find a job was here. So presto, here I am. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess people make mistakes. Oh. <laughs> It wasn't a mistake. A year later, the asshole shot his wife and kid and killed himself. Hmm. And they wouldn't hire you back. <laughs> they don't want people that rock the boat. I want to go back to my hotel to change. Should I just meet you there? After I'm by the office, but if you want to swing by when you're done, we can go down together in your car. So I don't want to park the van outside the poor woman's house. People are to think she's a witch. People think your source is a witch? This is going to be good. You got dinner last night. I'll get this one. My town, my treat. Hey, Cor. Hi. Uh, this is Kate King. I know who she is. Guess you haven't matured in the last 12 years, huh? What do you mean? Goodbye, Cormac. Is there something I should know? It's a long story. You got some place to be? Oh, come on, spill it. Use your date or something? I want details.
Mind if I join the party? We were just leaving. Think about what we said. Well, I recognize her. They're both cops? Yep. Two off-duty officers who have decided to come in to hint I should run a story that the murders happened in the reserve, and the Black Falls police have evidence the killer's a native man. Evidence they are unwilling to share, of course. Well, let's go see your source. Maybe we can dig up our own evidence. I see trees, a wooded area. Stick to things you didn't read in the paper. There's only one killer. We think that there might be multiple individuals. No, I, I, I don't think there's more than one. He's a young man. He's full of rage. He's possessed by some evil force. He's killed three women already, and he's going to kill more. Uh, one of the victims is male. Oh. Yeah, I see that now. <laughs> I do channeling. I can channel your father. I can tell you what he's thinking. I don't care what that sick bastard's thinking. That was a complete waste of time. It's worth a shot, OK? An out-of-the-ordinary story needs out-of-the-ordinary sources. Fine. But from now on, can we stay away from the mystic? Look, take my keys, drive around the block. I want to talk to this guy. Hey, I want to ask you some questions. What happened? Where'd he go? I don't know. He just vanished. Never mind. Get in. I have an idea. Stop right there. There he is. Hey, why are you running? Get back here! Hey! Maybe she saw something. Of course, she's probably a meth head. Hey. Hey, oh, 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 I just want to talk to you. Did you see that guy run by? I see lots of things. So you've seen all these creepy people standing around, staring? You'd have to be stupid not to notice. Although everybody in town's preoccupied. Like I said, I see a lot. Oh, weird shit. What have you seen? What's in it for me? Hundred bucks. Oh, ho, ho. Let's hear it first. Start with your name. Sasha. But you're not getting my last name. Okay, Sasha. What do you know? Fine. But you didn't hear this from me. I wind up dead. It's on your conscience. Go down to McLean's Park tonight. It's Friday, 3 a.m. Where's McLean Park? I know where it is this way. Yeah. She knows where it is. There's two paths leading into the woods. Take the one on the left. Follow it until you get to a clearing. There you'll find some old barn and some other buildings. Behind them, that's where you'll find your fucked up shit. Like what? That would ruin the surprise, wouldn't it? That's all I know. Hand it over. This better not be bullshit. I'll be calling the cops on you. Cops? Right. Funny. Think this is a wild goose chase? 
I just assume everything's gonna be disappointing. And then I'm pleasantly surprised when it isn't. <laughs> oh, that's a bad life philosophy, Gore. Maybe I've just seen some shit. That's made me bitter. Big bad boy from Boise, huh? Trust me, you haven't seen anything. <laughs> what, you gangsta? You gangsta up in Minneapolis? <laughs> Hardcore chick, are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring it, punk. <laughs> no? Come on, let's go. We can throw down if we get out of this alive. Damn that it is creepy out here. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Yeah, right. But you run at the first sign of trouble. What's that supposed to mean? It's not supposed to mean anything. I was just kidding. Did you talk to Clint or something? No, what are you talking about? Just remember there's two sides to every story. If you say so. I guess this is the place the meth chick was talking about. She told the truth so far. She didn't say anything about going on private property. I know, right? I had her pegged for a law-abiding citizen, too. Corey, we can't go in there. Then stay here. <laughs> If I get shot, I'll sue you. <laughs> Looks abandoned. Like no one's lived here in decades. That's what? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Core. I'm not so sure about this. We don't know what that is. It's dangerous. You have to call the cops. And tell them what? That a meth head told us to go through the woods and we heard a noise. <laughs> Come on, let's just go check it out. Cuando ventres es venturos. Run! Venetis Ilos, Ochidere Eos! So... You were on private property. That's what you get from our story. What am I supposed to get? People are allowed to do whatever the hell they want on their own land. As long as they're not hurting anyone. Ritual killing of a goat. Wearing masks and robes. Chanting. Weird shit. With these murders... Did you see them kill anyone? 
If you did, I'll go down and arrest a lot of them right now. We didn't see any bodies, but- Exactly. You were on private property and saw people you can't identify conducting a peaceful religious ceremony. It's none of your business or mine. They chased us. Good. You were on their property. They could have shot you and it would have been legal. Look, David. We are not on a first name basis, young lady. Chief Dawes down there in Indian country is a friend of mine. He's got a handle on this case. Mind your own business and stay off that property. Am I making myself nice and clear? What do we do now? That's, uh, it's crazy. Can't believe your asshole, the boss, wouldn't even hear us out. He's been acting strange lately. I think the pressure's getting to him. But you're willing to help and keep an open mind? As long as it doesn't cost me my job. That's all we ask. I made some calls and found someone who might be able to help us. She's an expert in this area, the occult. Maybe she can shed some light on all of this. She's a professor, not a psychic. It's the 21st century. Who goes to a psychic? Most of what you've heard about Satanism resulted from the moral panic in the 80s. Groups of people, most of them religious, were convinced that Satanism was spreading across the country. They pointed fingers at horror movies and heavy metal music. And these groups claimed that thousands were being murdered each year by satanic cults. It was the witch trials all over again. A number of people were convicted of murder based on the suspicion that they worshiped Satan. Most of those cases were eventually thrown out though, right? Little to no consolation if you spent 18 years of your life in prison for a crime you didn't commit. But yeah. Calmer minds finally prevailed, and it was all discredited. It turns out there weren't thousands of ritualistic murders. It was actually closer to zero. Those cases in Texas. That's the thing. True cases of satanic killings are virtually non-existent. The most troubling aspect of your case is the animal sacrifice. In most cases I've researched, members of the group stop short of crossing a commonly accepted moral line. Butchering and beheading a goat is definitely crossing a line. It's in a similar vein to serial murderers who get their start torturing animals. Sooner or later, they escalate. And with the killings in your area, well, let's just say, I'm afraid. Let's take a walk. What makes a satanic cult so frightening is that there's no motive. They do evil for the pleasure of it, to corrupt, to satiate some desire that most of us will never understand. Is there anything else you can tell us? Anything that will help us? Well, that goat must have come from somewhere. Clint. We need to talk. You know what's strange? I feel safer on the reserve than I do in Black Falls. What is it about get out of town that little shit doesn't understand? You don't even know him. I know him better than you. The guy used you back then, now he's in town 24 hours and it happens again. You were spying on us? That is none of your business. It is my business, sweetie. I raised you myself. You don't call me sweetie. I'm a cop now, and I earned it. You treat me with respect. Point taken. Sometimes I get, you know, it's just a lot of pressure. They just found another body. On the res? Female from the town, Sasha Gomez. Know her? Yeah, I knew her. She had a hard life. 
They even ripped out her piercings for good measure. Can you help us with this thing? I said I'd check out every lead, and I meant it. Why are they coming along? They're civilians. The only civilians who know how to get where we're going. Oh, fine. We'll lead the way. This better be worth it. I'm out here and I got most of my guys driving to every house in the area, seeing if anyone's suspicious. Bought a goat. It's gotta be 20 or 30 farms around here. If this is all bullshit, I'll have a lot of explaining to do. Cult rituals. Linda Dawes. What is it? <laughs> Professor Jacobson was shot dead. What in God's name is going on? Better call Rick and tell him to proceed with caution. Nothing yet, but I've been to six. Just pulled up to number seven. Creepy. The place is abandoned. No one has been here for years. Wrong. Signs of people, though. Recently. Let's go see what we came to see. There were definitely people here. What, you thought we were lying? I didn't say that. If I thought it, I'd have said it. Hey, hey, hey. We're on the same team. Find something? I've never seen this kind of flower here in these parts. How'd it get here? Blood. There's blood everywhere. I think I'm in over my head here. What do you think we should do? I think I should call the FBI. I can't run an investigation with all this going on. If what you guys say is true, then I can't trust anyone. Even my old friend. Well, trust this. We can all count on each other. Yeah, they could be watching us right now. He is a problem. I know. This situation cannot be tolerated. It risks our mission. We've done. Failure is not an option. I'm sorry. Fix it. Stay on course. I'm sorry. I'll take care of it. See that you do.
What the hell are you doing here? We've got a problem. You're gonna have an even bigger problem if you don't get the hell out of here. Don't pretend that you're in control of this situation. You know that you're not. Now sit down. Good man. Now, we had some visitors at our gathering last night. What are you gonna do about it? Well, just stay there. I'll come get you. Well, something's going down. I can't get a hold of Good Eagle. You better call your friends. They might be in danger, too. To something big here. I mean, we're talking cults, police cover-ups, everything. Okay, okay, Cor, I believe you. I mean, take all the time you need. Just... Just what? <sighs> Stay safe. Plum. Hi, Cor. It's me again. I need to know you're okay. Call me back. Linda? Is Cor with you? I don't care if he is, I just... I need to know. He's not here. I can't get a hold of him. Someone left a goat's head on my porch. What? I know. I'm at Queens. Clint's on his way. If they know about me and where I live... They probably know about you and Cor, too. Get down here. You shouldn't be alone. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll uh, swing by Cor's place and see if he's there. Okay, stay safe. Fuck. Hi, Larry. It's Linda. Hey, Linda. How are you doing? It's hard to say. It's been a long couple. 
couple days. Listen, have you heard from Clint? He said he was on his way to meet me, but he's not answering his phone. He's not here. It's not like him. No, I haven't heard from him. Holy shit, I hope he's okay. We, we still can't find Good Eagle. Do you mind taking a drive down to his place? Yeah, no, no problem, I can do that. Oh, hey, uh, Clint said he was working with you today. Is Black Falls working with us in this thing now? So I got some new information. I was off duty. What information? Uh, it's the flower. I was gonna wait and tell him in the morning. What is it? It's, uh, oh boy, uh, Dendrophylax lindeni. Uh, it's commonly known as the ghost orchid. The uh, report says it's found in Florida and the Caribbean, but it's not from around here. We're gonna start hitting up places in the morning that sell it. Right, um, now go check on Clint. Righto. Larry? Oh, God. Okay. I'll be right there. Get away from my car. Get away from my car or I will shoot you. Back off. Back the fuck off. Stay back. Get in. We gotta go to the hospital. Clint was attacked. They attacked me too. They broke into my house. I drove by Coors Motel, doors open, signs of a struggle, but he's not there. Is there anybody we can call? Is there anyone you trust? He's in surgery. It's bad. Is he gonna live? They don't know. Look, there's something going on. They found Good Eagle's car on a farm he was checking out. It was in the barn. They found traces of blood, but no body. They came after me and Kate tonight, too. They? There's a satanic cult in the town. We don't know who's involved, but there's lots of them. We're sure they're responsible for all the murders. And they know we're onto them. Shit. Okay, uh, we called the feds. We told them what's going on. They're gonna be out here in the morning. Let me take this, it might be important. Couple deer. I just want to get out of here. Just run away from this whole thing, but I can't leave Clint. Look, if we can last the night, the FBI will be here in the morning. We can trust them, they haven't been tainted by the town. What about Cor? Is he alive? Look, they seem to either kill them on the spot or take them and torture them. If he's alive, he's not gonna be for long. Hey, we just got a new lead. That homeowner that we raided, he also owns the property where Clint found that flower sample. He owns another property east of town. It's a greenhouse that specializes in exotic plants. Like the ghost orchid. And get this, he also has shares in an airplane hangar. Maybe Cor's there. Let's go. Okay, I'll get some backup and I'll come with you. No, we can't trust anyone. Don't tell anybody where we're going. You stay here and guard Clint. They might come for him. Power be to Satan in all his glory. Cormac, your father has gone through a transformation. You're not my dad. My dad died. I can never die. What if your dad catches you? Asshole's probably passed out. I won't get caught. I can't drink anyways. I know. 
We can't show up to a party without booze. I'll just be a second. Back then, I didn't hold the power I now wield. The disciples wanted you killed for fear that you'd tell someone what you saw. Oh, I pleaded for your life, and they relented. But you came back and forced our hand. You're not my father. He was old and frail. Not to mention, I went to his funeral. All is possible. With his master's guidance, we have grown more powerful than we ever could have imagined. Hiding in plain sight. People don't pay attention to what doesn't concern them. No, everyone is in his own little world. It takes just a simple distraction to misguide them. Pull the veil over their eyes. The whole freeway thing. <laughs> Turn man against man, neighbor against neighbor, father against son. <laughs> if they only understood the true power of Satan, the only true power, a power that eclipses politics and law, a power that engulfs them, accepts them. No need to worry. I don't expect you to follow in my footsteps. Shut it off. What are we gonna do if they're here? You ever fire a gun? Once. In a range. Good. It's ready. Just... Squeeze the trigger. What are you gonna use? It's time to let the big dog howl. Six offerings per annum. That is what the Lord demands. You will be number five. The sixth will be one of your feminine companions. Don't worry, we have no intention of putting you in the awkward position of having to choose. Then, you go dormant until the spring, when we rise for the next offering. Great time on my part. These events were set in motion without your knowledge or assistance. Nothing occurs without our Lord's concession. The time is almost at hand. 3 a.m. We will begin the sacrifice. Then you'll dump my body in the reserve like the others? Once the ghost has left the vessel, it is of no use to us. If someone wishes to move the body to further their own agenda, we shan't interfere. Satanas! 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 <laughs> Come on, this is fucked. I'm leaving town in the morning, first thing. I'm never coming back. Oh, this shit. I've kept this cult ritual fucking shit quiet for 12 years. There's, there's no reason to come forward now. Oh, oh God. 
Oh, shit. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Kill. If you are my Kill. father, Kill. take Kill. off the mask. Kill. Kill. Prove it. Kill. Prove Kill. you're still alive. Kill. Kill. Don't concern Kill. yourself. Kill. I lost Kill. my humanity Kill. long Kill. ago. Kill. 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 why you left Black Falls. Yeah. I just don't understand why you couldn't tell me. <laughs> tell you what? My dad's a sick fuck. I could handle his drinking. I could take speedings. There's no way I could live at that house after seeing that. I just... I never imagined him being involved in something like that. What brings someone to that? You are not your father, Cor. think you were just coming down here to do a story on a freeway. So far, none of them have admitted to dumping any bodies on the reserve. You know why they did this though, right? To make us look bad. To discredit us. So also they could put their freeway through. What kind of people would go to those lengths for a fucking construction project? By the way, uh, Clint wants to talk to you. I appreciate you helping bust this thing open. I feel stupid for not figuring it out. How could you have? You know? Who would have expected all this? Well, all the same, you and I are squared. That kid I shot. He wasn't coming at me with that night. I got freaked out and shot. I know, Clint. I was there. For 12 years, I had that hanging over my head. Just waiting for the day you'd come forward and put an end to my career. Why, Dandridge? Why did he never come forward? It wasn't the right thing to do. People make mistakes, Clint. It was time to clear your conscience, let it go. Thanks, Cor. If you ever come back, and you get a speeding ticket, 
let me know. I'll take care of it for you. If things happen with you and Linda, I won't get in the way. Thanks. But, uh, I'm never coming back. Take care, Clint. Well, it's been fun. I'm sure we'll both be busy for a year with this whole thing. Not me. I'm quitting as soon as I get back to that office. Well, Small town life is not for me. I'm gonna move back to Minneapolis. How about you? I'm in this for the long haul. I write a book about this whole thing. Well, uh, make me look good in it. How could I not? Care. You too. Thanks again for everything. Don't mention it. And I'm really sorry about everything that happened way back then. I didn't know I hurt you so bad. I didn't mean to. And I'm really sorry. Cor, don't think everything's about you. You and my brother need to stop thinking I'm some innocent girl that needs protecting. I don't. Point taken. Listen, why don't you come up to the city and visit sometime? I'll show you around. Not a chance. Goodbye, Cor. They canceled the freeway project. Just got the notice. Can't imagine why. You okay? <sighs> Nothing years of therapy won't fix. You know you're probably gonna have to go back, Cor. The trial and all that. Maybe I'll wake up. This is all a dream. It's no dream, Cor. But maybe it's the story of a lifetime. Maybe this even pulls us out of the red. You need some time off? I just need some rest. I'll be in tomorrow. with you for a few days while I find a place. Of course. Why are you moving back? Black Falls is not for me. <laughs> and the network offered me a gig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 
I'll be fine. I'm a cop, remember? Yeah. I'll set the alarm. Just forget about me. You need to concentrate on getting better. All right. Love you too. I think you're right, Peter. Damn. Oh. I lost my glove. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll find it for you. Oh, I just wish everybody would come to their senses. Things would change back to the way they used to be. Will turn around soon. They always do. You bet your ass. 